Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we are just walking. This is uh, I Walk and Jesus Talks episode three. And I just wanted to talk about this translation per se of the Bible called the Passion Translation. So I will say I have been, I had been reading the Passion Translation for probably two to three months. And I thought that it was great Bible. I knew pe I know people that had like preached out of it. So I was like, oh, it's a great Bible. It's good. But God sent this person to me and she told me like, hey, I noticed you're reading the Passion Translation. I didn't know what it was. So I did a research about it. And I think that maybe you should do some research yourself and see what it's really about. So that triggered my thoughts and I got on YouTube and I did some research and I figured out that one person wrote the Bible. I believe his name is Brian Simmons. And uh, so one person wrote the Bible that calls for, that could call for like to be him being biased about some things that God says. And um, so, but when like other Bibles, it was a group of people or a group of translators because they're translating it from a different language. See, that calls for less bias because you can talk about your situation or your viewpoint on something with a group of people. So there's less bias in the Bible. And um, they're also called translation because they're translating it from a different language to English. But he completely rewrote the New Testament. And there's verses in the Bible that say, do not add or take away from what I have given you. And to me, if he's rewriting the entire Bible that's already in English, just into English again, but in his own words, and, he's bi and it's more biased, wouldn't that mean that he's adding or taking away from the Bible because he's not translating it from the original language. He's still, it's in the same language. He's not even translating it. It's just a rewrite. So there was a couple of reasons that I was like, hmm, maybe I should switch. And my third reason was that, come here. My third reason was that um, he says, he claims, that Jesus visited him in his room and told him, come on, to rewrite the entire New Testament. Not to translate it, but to rewrite it. And there's been some, see, I don't know a lot about this, but I do know that God, because with Moses, God couldn't show his face to him. It'd be way too powerful. So he saw his backside. And Moses still walked around with so much glory and holiness in his face that people like people were amazed. And so I'm like, how could this guy even stand? Because God is so holy and Jesus is so holy. How could he stand to even see God's face because Moses couldn't even see God's face be way too powerful way too holy so that could lead to this claim that God came into his room or Jesus came into his room breathed on him and told him to rewrite this Bible blasphemy so those are the three reasons why I decided to switch to a Christian standard Bible. And I'm not trying to, like if any of you guys read the Passion Translation, I'm not trying to like dog on you or anything. I'm just giving you information. Maybe God's sending me to help you to realize what Bible you're reading. But I'm not trying to, you don't have to change. If God doesn't put it on your heart, that's okay. But I know that I haven't been sent to be a messenger and just, or not, or just to, been sent to deliver this message. There we go. And I think that that's what I'm trying to do. So God put it on my heart because, oops, sorry, there's probably some wind. But uh, God put it on my heart 
and he changed me because yeah th that actually leads into the second thing that I want to talk about in this video so God changed me and I have to learn this time I also learned from God because God sent me a video on YouTube and I had to learn that uh, God like we serve Jesus but like a lot of people we serve Jesus just to be like blessed and to go to heaven and just for all the all the good things but there's also a wrath that comes with that and it's it's called fearing the Lord his power is so great it's not like a fear as in like you're scared it's almost like it's like a respect kind of fear like you obey God and he's powerful and you obey God because of his power so but you also when you're serving God he will correct you and you have to be open to taking that constructive criticism and be open-minded to the people that may come into your life to change you for the better and to serve God better and to be closer to God because now that I know that about the Bible I was reading now hold on sorry guys there's some cars coming now I can help preach the gospel to you guys in a better manner Hold on. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. There's some cars. Um, but I can now help teach and preach the gospel. And I'm not perfect by any means. I still have so much to learn about the Bible. But that doesn't mean that I can't preach from what I know. But now at least I know that I'm preaching from a Bible that me personally... I trust and I believe is a Bible that I should be reading so be open to God's constructive criticism he's not trying to he's not saying like oh you're such a bad follower of me because you read the wrong or you didn't know about this Bible if you didn't know God's merciful like he's not going to just straight up like you're going to hell because you read this Bible for three months no but that's why because God wants us so badly that's why he sent that person into my life to change me and I had to be open-minded about it and which at first I won't lie I wasn't I was like whoa 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 like you're really just gonna come out here and tell me that I'm sinning and a bad person because I'm reading the wrong Bible maybe not a bad person but I'm not following the right like I don't know not being a good follower of God but then I was like you know what maybe she's right maybe I should just go in open-minded, treat her with mercy and not just like start dogging on her for telling me I'm doing something wrong because sometimes when you're told you're doing something wrong, that actually is a good thing because then you can correct it. And doing something wrong doesn't mean that God doesn't love you anymore. He says that a righteous man will fall seven times, but he will get back up with, and he gets back up and he runs back to God. So I think that me having these couple of realizations has helped me run back to God and be in God's arms. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you're excited for some merch. The link is on the banner in the YouTube, like on the channel. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Jesus loves you. God bless. And we'll see you guys in the next one.